in Dublin yay I have checked into the apartment hotel I have gone shopping for food so that I have breakfast things for the next few days I am staying here until Tuesday it's Thursday today and I'm very excited because I am going to Octocon which is a science fiction convention mainly focused on literature so that will be nice Tomorrow is Friday, then I'm going to Kilkenny to meet up with a friend of mine and then Saturday and Sunday there's the convention and then Monday I am hoping to do a bit of, if not book shopping, so at least some book browsing and also meet up with a friend for tea, that is at least the plan so far and then Tuesday morning I head back to Oslo, not to Oslo, <laughs> so used to saying that I'm going back to Oslo but I'm not living in Oslo anymore. I have moved. I now live in Fredrikstad. On my way to Dublin, as you might have guessed, I was reading You Are Not Supposed to Die Tonight by Kaylin Byron. This is the third book by the author that I have read. This is a standalone, as far as I know. It's a very good read. I really enjoyed it. It's a very short book, quick read, because I actually started it last night and I finished as we were landing in Dublin today. And it just went by very quickly. I think it was very suspenseful. There's a lot of things happening. It has a really it kind of, I felt like it was like dragging me in from the very start. I have also started reading Carmilla, which I find very fitting for where I am. It's an Irish classic, I would say. Name of the author <laughs> currently escapes me. Le Faune. Don't remember. There will be a picture up here, I hope, of the book because I'm reading it on my Kobo and it's currently in my rucksack and I just didn't want to dig into my rucksack and drag it out at the moment. I'm very tired. If I look at Irish time, it is no... My, my, my watch is on Norwegian time, but it's half past uh, 40 past 3, 20 to 4, I think. And I've been up since four o'clock this morning Irish time, so almost 12 hours. I've had lunch at the airport because I was very hungry, so I decided to just eat there before heading into Dublin. I'm staying at a, an apartment hotel in The Point. This is the area called The Point. It's not like super central, but it's actually really handy in many ways, and the convention is just across the square from the apartment hotel so it's it's just like super easy to get there from here. I chose not to stay in the convention hotel because we stayed in that hotel last year in July last year and it was a very bad experience so I went mm -mm, not staying in that hotel again. So I'm staying at an uh, apartment hotel which is also very handy in other ways because I can make my own which is uh, really nice. I can have my own stuff, things I know that I like and I can make myself cups of tea and just yeah enjoy myself. I'm very tired so I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the diet. It's still quite early but I don't think I want to do a lot today. I think I might just like chill and read, probably head somewhere to have dinner. I know there's a place across the square where they have some really nice Thai food, if I remember correctly, some like tofu stuff. And 
when we were here last year they had like a really really nice dish so I'll probably just go there for dinner today and just read and chill and maybe watch YouTube because there's a TV up here and there should be streaming services or I can stream from my phone I think so one book gone new one started this is promising in Kilkenny and I'm really happy to be here. I will be meeting up with my friend shortly. I'm still at the rail station where I think we're going to meet. <laughs> at least I've not heard anything else so I just assume that this is where we're going to meet and it's fine. They're a bit delayed, such are things sometimes, but I'm just enjoying it being a sunny day at least for now. You never know when it's Ireland, but it's currently sunny. And yeah, I just love Kilkenny. I've been here before. It's a lovely city and looking forward to seeing my friend again.
so I don't have like crap. is a new day. <laughs> I've been awake for an hour or so I think. I managed to finish Carmilla last night and why haven't I read this book before? I really really enjoyed it. It's just so good. It's not long, just a less than 100 pages. It's vampires. <laughs> I've been, I mean I've been reading vampire stories for a very very long time. I read Dracula in the 90s, 1990s, and loved it. And I guess that might have been my start for loving vampire stories. I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. It's not important. I really enjoyed Carmilla, and I am going to start a new book. Right now, I can't really remember the name of the book, but I've got it on my Kobo. So I. I'm very excited to start reading that because I've heard good things about it. I have tested negative to the corona test so I'm ready to go to the convention. I have to test every day or both days or I don't have to but I think it's the right thing to do. That's done. It's negative. And I decided not to bring my camera to the convention today. It's just one more thing to carry around and I just don't feel like it today. I have my Kobo so I can continue reading in like in the breaks and stuff. Other than that, I guess I'm ready to go and then tonight I'll figure out where to eat dinner. We'll see what I do. I have no plans other than the convention today. Good morning! It is Monday and my very last full day here in Dublin. I am leaving tomorrow morning and today's plan is to first to head down to the cafe here in the hotel building that I'm staying in where I'm meeting a friend for a cup of coffee. She's Irish but doesn't live in Dublin. Then the rest of the day I don't have a lot of plans but I'm no, I know that I want to go book shopping. There's a few at least a couple of bookshops I haven't visited yet so that I love, or three at least, <laughs> because there's a lot of nice bookshops here in Dublin. I was supposed to meet up with a friend for a cup of tea, but then she messaged me and it turns out that she's not able to come due to work, which is fine. It's only a little sad because I haven't seen her in ages and ages. So I guess that's pretty much the rough plan for the day. Coffee with friend and book shopping and of course eating food. <laughs> can't, can't go like a whole day without eating food. I've had breakfast already so that's fine. It is nine o'clock and my friend will be here at 9.30 so yeah I think I'll actually squeeze in some reading time before then.
it is Tuesday morning. Today I leave Dublin, which is kind of sad in one way, but I'm looking forward to go home and see my partner again. I finished The Girl from the Well yesterday. Quite enjoyed that. I am going to start a new book today. It's called Crimson Bound. I don't remember the author <laughs> at the moment, but it's supposed to be a fairy tale retelling of the little red riding hood as far as I remember. So that will be interesting. It looked good anyway. And I'm going to read it on my Kobo as per usual uh, on this travel. It's it's good to be able to travel with a, an e-reader so that I don't have to drag along many books. <laughs> I'm going to make myself some breakfast and um, take it from there.